What's up, everyone? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamer Dad channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So something that I haven't necessarily talked about in a, in a while, at least, is about the Eagle Bear, the situation of the you know weapon itself being locked behind the raid and even now seeing that it's been brought to the dark zone, basically opening up the you know capability of people to possibly get the weapon. I didn't necessarily want to speak much on this anymore because, you know, I've been hypothesizing for a long time that we need an open world Eagle Bearer possibility. If you look at my video here, this video I made a long time ago, uh, I mentioned this issue and I've also done this in other videos. But what's more important is I want you to just look a little left. One of our audience members, somebody who commented on this channel, they said, please drop the Eagle uh, for me. So LOL, solo players get ripped off in this game. And yeah, the raids, you know, is BS. I'm a solo player, mainly give us solos a break. Now, there are solo player issues in the Division 2. I understand very well because for the most part, I could be a solo player. But once in a while, I break out of, you know, my comfort zone and I basically cut loose and, you know, go in and I, you know, run raids with, you know, people in our clan, friends and so on and so forth. So, Stoney, I'll give you a lifeline here because that's just one way I think you can get this Eagle Bearer. Unless, of course, you want to jump in the dark zone, which will also bring its own issues. And especially the fact that there are people who are waiting to crush the Eagle Bearer that you possibly may never get if you actually get into the dark zone. So, there are all kinds of forces working against you. Because as a solo player, you know, you go into DZ, you know, you farm, you farm, you farm, you possibly get this Eagle Bearer. You're freaking out. You want to extract it and somebody might show up and destroy your dreams for that. I've left a link in the description. There is a clan that I'm a member of whom I run raids with from time to time, and there are people who will be happy to kind of walk through the raid with you, show you the ropes about the raid, and if possibly somebody that already has the Eagle Bearer were to get it, they will gladly give it to you. But, you know, one of the conditions is that, you know, you get a nice build that they want you to get. It's not really even difficult. If you're a solo player, you more than likely already have a build like that. Uh, no problem with that. And also just be happy to just, you know, come in and learn. And you can just basically follow that. You'll see all the rules and stuff when you get into the Discord server. Not really a big deal. But let's talk about this entire Eagle Bearer issue. The developers have decided that they were going to go ahead and drop this in the dark zone. I think it's kind of weird that they did that. You know, at first, I didn't want to say anything. I just kind of let the whole thing kind of, you know, push uh, by. But if they really do want people to get the Eagle Bearer without having to do the raid, then what is the point of putting it in the dark zone? The Eagle Bearer itself is a weapon that can be acquired from a PvE activity. Why put it in the dark zone at this point in time? Brings us back to the whole conversation of PvP versus PvE. It brings us to the whole conversation of, you know, how people are in a position, you know, to kind of like maybe, I don't know, start to complain again or start to compare and contrast, you know, what the developers are doing with the PvP PvE game brings in a position where, you know, you can even take this whole conversation into the division Heartland and you'll be in a really weird spot. I remember somebody even left a comment and said, oh, Heartland is going to be a PvP game, you know, PvE, no, you can't just drop your skills and run away. I'm like, yo, you say it like the developers who designed the game and put all of these elements, they did a bad thing. Like, if you want to play a PvP game, you know, that will kind of give you maybe a little bit more satisfaction. We have the Call of Duty games, we have the Modern Warfare games, you know, you can play Destiny's PvP, you know, the Division's PvP is very different. Like, you got to in a sense, kind of warp your mind to fit the way it's been designed. And it's really not for everybody, if you understand what I mean. It's not really easy for people to kind of comprehend that, you know, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to be blasting my way through somebody who may be super tanky. And then they may show up at one instance and, you know, take turn around and light me up and all of that stuff. So there are, you know, kind of these, I, I would say, weights that really do affect people who are playing the game solo. Which, you know, the division should, in my opinion, be able to accommodate every player type since that's what they're going for anyways, right? But the raids are just one of those things. You know, they've designed them to kind of like, in a sense, undercut the entirety of the solo player, um, you know, paradigm, which is fine. But then bringing the Eagle Bear and putting it in a place where the solo player will likely not be able to even get their hands on it, reducing the likelihood uh, by a lot, to me, I think it's kind of a waste, honestly. Now, maybe if you're playing on, uh, you know, a different platform, when maybe when there are not a lot of people playing on your platform, you might be able to get it. If you're playing on PlayStation, don't go into that DZ. There are a lot of, you know, little children there waiting to disrupt, you know, your own efforts. 
But I thought I'd make this video and talk about how, you know, even though the Eagle Bear has been brought out of the raid, it's still on, it's still in a place where it's not easily reached by people who are, you know, wanting to get the weapon or who find themselves in a really interesting situation at the moment. But that's it for me. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I know some people are probably not necessarily happy that the Eagle Bear got brought out of the raids. Hey, it is what it is. It, you know, it's one of those things where I always thought you didn't need to lock it behind the raids because at the same time, people who love to raid, love to raid. As The moment they get the weapon, they still keep raiding anyways, and that's the good thing about it. I still raid. I still play the raids, even though I'm like, I don't know. What. I still play them, but, you know, even though I still have the weapons and so on and so forth, it is one of the things that is just a matter of preference, in my opinion. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. Hopefully, we'll talk pretty soon in another Division video. Peace out.